Hello there. In the last couple of days, our real focus has been on the problems that rainfall has been causing. Still some issues potentially for the southwest of England and the northeast of Scotland in the next 24 to 48 hours. But we have some other hazards to contend with first thing today as well. And that is going to be a lot of low cloud, but more dangerously, in fact, some dense patches of mist and fog, particularly through central areas of the UK, Welsh marches down into the South Midlands and also to the west across Northern Ireland, where the skies have cleared overnight. So let's head in and take a closer look at what we start Friday with. Northern Ireland starts the day fine, but with barely a breath of breeze, the mist and fog could linger, and also it will be a rather chilly start here too. For Wales, towards the west, still some showers around, potentially the odd heavy one, not good news here, and some dense mist and fog through the marches. More showers heading towards the southwest of England as well. Hopefully light and well scattered through the first part of the day, but again, still an area we're keeping a close eye on. Some dense fog to the south of the Midlands, patchy fog as well, so all the more dangerous. One minute you're in it, the next minute you're not. And then to the east of the UK, a very depressing looking sky, really. A lot of low cloud mist and murk that runs right the way up into eastern Scotland, a gloomy old start to the day. And for the northeast of Scotland, we continue to hang on to some showers. Now we have seen some very heavy rain here recently through the Aberdeenshire area into Perth and Kinross. Snow melt combined with the rainfall totals could result in some flooding here on Friday. Still a strong wind to the northeast of Scotland as well. Central areas and to the west of Scotland hopefully seeing a little brightness later on in the day. Some decent sunshine in Northern Ireland once the fog lifts but those eastern counties of England and Scotland still stuck I think with the gloom for much of the day and then I need to draw your eye to the southwest because notice the showers gathering here again. It looks like we could see some heavier, even more persistent rain arriving into the southwest overnight Friday. It does, though, at least look it'll stay fine for the rugby at the Millennium Stadium, and you can catch the coverage of that on Friday evening on BBC Two. Now, the weekend as a whole, a fairly quiet story. Once we get rid of the showers in the southwest of England through the early part of Saturday, many areas should enjoy some decent drier spells, but those showers, of course, falling exactly where we don't need them. So that will be one area of the forecast to watch closely for the start of the weekend. Quite gloomy start to the weekend. Temperatures about average, but there is a trend developing. Take a look at Sunday, much quieter, lose the showers, but things start to move on a little bit in the east. A lot of cloud around, some showers here, but notice the temperatures coming down as well. A taste of things to come, much colder in the new week.